a nuisance on the map, but we've got to move on here. Complexity versus Space Station Gaming. Winner's bracket, round number six. Space Station looking real good right now, Garrett. Yeah, whoever wins right here is going to qualify for pool play and complexity wants to stop space station space station they thought they qualified today they thought right. they were done they didn't have to play at the last moment they learned that they're the first team out number one seed today as they're gonna have to create uh they're gonna have to create their own opportunity it's not gonna be given to them for free and this complexity roster has looked so dangerous the last few weeks that we've seen them nothing is given for space station in this series yeah, I mean, I'm old, so I don't know what being young is anymore, but I'm telling you right now, these guys, definitely a lot of potential on this young complexity roster. Cycle and Ironical coming from Luminosity. Of course, Vetra Monster already a part of complexity, but Space Station, I mean, like you said, they weren't really thinking they were going to play today, but reps are good, right? Getting those reps in and that practice in, definitely very good. This is way better than scrims, I would say. A lot more pressure on the line. And it looks like Cycle... He's a fan of pressure right now as he puts a lot of it onto SSG, who's bottom A. Yeah, keep an eye out on Cycle, man. This guy's truly an X-Factor on the map. Very young, I believe just 16 years old, but he, he plays as a grizzled vet. You'll see him just get into fight after fight. Very aggressive, lays down a ton of damage. Truly a player that is going to be something special in the upcoming years. Uh, I really love this complexity roster because of how much potential there is on it. Everyone pretty young, uh, barring Monster, the one vet over there who's been in the scene for what feels like ever. But all these guys really young, really hungry, and expect to see very fast and aggressive gameplay. Another young player on the other end is Collect. I believe he's 20. Not as young as Cycle, but definitely a lot of potential in him as well. He's starting off this game two and four. Definitely has the potential to heat up a bit here and here comes the aggression, something we know very well out of Collect. He's so good at winning these 1v1s. He, he gets one, goes for the stick on the second, turns his back, the fade away. Oof, gotta love that confidence from Collect right there. He's always gonna try to take those fights. He loves to be in those scenarios where it's him and another player. It's who's better, whose shot's gonna reign supreme. That's where Collect feels the most comfortable. He, you'll see him often get 10, 15 more engagements on the map than anyone else. Always that first player in, first player out sort of mentality. Uh, something that Space Station was sort of lacking with their previous rosters. And I think Collect has brought an edge to this team that uh, cannot be overstated stated how important it is for the space station gaming roster to have a slayer like him that being said that bottom hill obviously goes to young complexity and they're on the way to take this next one as well but collect doing such a good job getting those double kills doesn't get the kill on the vetra the movement the dance too strong from him now it looks like young complexity gonna be on the screen the body shots come through as well make it a statement yeah, I love that for Vetra. Hey, you, you got to get in this team's head. You know Space Station, there's been something going on with their mental game. That it's, not, it's not pretty in paradise, let's just say right now. We've seen some great results from Space Station, but everyone's been on Twitter. Everyone's been seeing the drama. There's something that's going on with this team, and if you can take advantage of that, frustrate them in this game, it could be the difference maker of qualifying through winners and not having to play for the rest of today. That is an incredible point. Definitely taking advantage of some turmoil. And this Oxygenista, I'm sorry, this young uh, complexity roster is, is no slouch. I mean, they're already up 2-0 in this game. They're 50% of the way on the next one as well. Collect trying to prevent this camel from going through, but the pressure from A and Catwalk is too strong. And you see Monster on that heaven side as well. SSG just can't get through. Vetra has been an absolute force to play against. He's been getting damage on everything, and it finally takes a camouflage to take him down. But it wasn't before Vetra did a ton of damage. Oh, my Donnie is incredible. Look at Suppress. Oh, my God. He gets back into the hill. What a heads-up play from Suppress. Not only does he take down the star player in Vetra, who is 12 and 4, he stays alive with the camouflage, finds his spacing on the map, is able to survive and provide spacing for his team team but that could all be in jeopardy as vetra gets into the hill and gets battered as he finds the trade out and finally complexity take control once again and a valiant 
effort from Space Station halted and now a 3-0 deficit for them to overcome something that has to be taxing on their minds. And it's especially taxing because the last time Young COL won this against SSG, or played this against SSG, they actually won 4-2. So being up 3-0 already is going to give Young Complexity a lot of confidence going into this next hill. And Collect, so, like you talked about before, a player that is just involved in every single fight. He's literally the most damage taken in the open series right now. He, he takes 6,199 damage average, which is absolutely insane, ranked 11th. Like I said, man, this guy, he always wants to be involved in any fight on the map. Yeah, he, he's going to have a lot of deaths, but you know he's also going to get a ton of kills and assists. And that's something that you want to see from Collect. You just want to see him getting involved. Don't let him sit back. Let him lead the charge and then have your players like Ace and Tylo and all use that aggression to their advantage. But Space Station just need to execute at some point in this game. They have not been able to break into these hills. They haven't been able to get the setups that they want. And so far, this looks to be just a beating from Complexity. They have just absolutely dominated every facet of this game. And that looks to continue as Neuronical picks up another. And we're just seeing a lot, honestly, Garrett. I mean, we're seeing a lot of uh, you know, isolated deaths out of SSG. Of course, Young COL going to win that first game, but I think that was the big factor there. You had three down for SSG and Tylenol trying to slide in and win that 1v1, which he can do, but unfortunately, SSG weren't winning a lot of 1v1s in that game. A lot of players with a lot of deaths, not a lot of kills, so that plays a big factor. 4-0 for Young Complexity. Complexity just... Now on the breaks at the right time, we're able to get Spacey on the map. It was Vetra in the early game who, who provided so much for the team going 12 and four to start the game. And then Neuronical on the back half starts to speed up his own pace and picks up the slaying power for the team. That duo of Vetra and Neuronical, it started back in Halo 5 when they're teaming with each other in the pro series. And that strength that they've built with each other, that confidence that they have with each other to constantly work their angles and work their play together has been just so special to watch i'm really excited to see what this complexity roster does today i mean starting off of a 4-0 king of the hill win an impressive feat from complexity and then keep this momentum going into game two and just stake space station right here they can really show that they are a team that is in contention for a top six finish on land We'll see if steak is on the menu for dinner. We're hopping into Slayer Aquarius for game number two, and we're hopping on board with Vetra of Lo Young Complexity. Vetra trying to get into that mid map as soon as he can. And looks like the early grab from Monster is going to come to the detriment of Complexity as everyone starts to fall. Space Station Gaming get all the goodies. Heat Wave, Camouflage in their possession. And now Collect. Did he hear that player above him? As he prowls, collects the heat wave. He has the combo. This is his game to open up. A big game changing moment here. Just depends on how he utilizes this heat wave. And right now, let me tell you, a double kill comes through. It extends their lead by four. And now he's got the shock grenades, the next important equipment on the map. He's got top control as well. And Collect, looking like the star of the show, 4-0 so far. And Collect shows you how important camouflage is. It's not just important for keeping yourself hidden and getting first shots and engagement. What camouflage does, is it opens up routes. He went through the middle of the map. He didn't pay any respect to complexity's positioning on the map because of his camouflage. He was able to get heat wave right away, get back into that fight and open up opportunities for his team. And Collect just continues forward. He starts this game 6-0. Then in nine engagements thus far, and has not lost one. Make it number 10 as Collect finds his seventh kill. Let me tell you something, Garrett. You can tell a lot by a player by watching their screen for just a few seconds. Collect so fast paced, so confident, so strong in his decision making. Allowing him to go seven and one with three assists and really taking over this game. SSG has a nine kill lead so far. Cut that down to eight, but incredible job by collect and also suppressed who's seven three and two as well 
Alright, so Presley, he got a little eager on that gunfight. I can understand, you know, just wanting to get that damage in. His teammate was coming in from the back. Maybe could have kept it, you know, kept the back a little bit, played his life a bit more. But what's most important right now is just finding the kills. Really, nothing matters until you get to that 30th kill. It's just a game of momentum, trying to build what you can. When you get to 30, that's when Slayer really starts. That's where you can't be making dumb mistakes and you can already see complexity finding their way back into this game the early game not really that important it's when you clutch up in the mid game and get ready for that end game is where we're going to see the important parts of this game just a little bit of a quick update for you guys fanatic just lost a slayer to oxygen once again 50 to 40 so that means oxygen is going to be up 2-0 in that series a fanatic with rammy on the squad uh, you know, having a trouble with oxygen as well. Then six complexity. But you can see they're all trapped towards Garin. Space Station have great positioning, but some great shots from Neuronical. At least find some trades, but Space Station will take advantage. They're gonna go positive and they're gonna build themselves a bit of a lead as they appoint as they approach that 30 point threshold and collect has been just so impressive started off this game seven and one currently ten and six as he continues to find spots on the map to get more and more kills but complexity i mean complexity is very close right it's just one break and complexity would be right back in this game that's all it takes that first initial pick monster i like his positioning on top base of blue making sure that ssg cannot push forward towards this middle map position being such a nuisance look at the damage he's outputting here it's not a lot like you had mentioned before it's not any kills unfortunately he does go down to ace there as he loses a 1v1 but complexity trying to come back into this game unfortunately they're down by 11. incredible job by space station to take control of the map in these last eight or so kills they've been very spread out uh, they had collect at top key uh, two players at car working with each other in a roamer on the map and what that does is it doesn't allow complexity to be comfortable because so many angles are taken up and you have to be weary of all of them and they've been able to build themselves a 10 kill lead because of that and now collect well he's back to where he's most comfortable heat wave and camouflage in the hands this is looking rough for complexity in the end game gotta pay attention to that heat wave and that camo i mean this is a pure battle rifle fight map and those are the only two things on the map that those in shocks that really make an impact and honestly ssg and collect for that matter have really taken control of those this entire game and that's the story here as they take an 11 kill lead once again looking to make it 12 on a cycle and he does great job by collect getting these kills but also you know just being such a big impact uh suppressed as well 12 uh 12 and 10 assists for him in this game both players just playing phenomenal this is a response that space station really needed right i mean a 4-0 devastating loss in the king of the hill you come back on slayer you play smart you play fast you get yourself a, a comfortable lead and you find a way to finish out a game that was always yours to begin with uh, something they can take ownership in and use as momentum to carry forward as collect ends up being your main slayer of the match at 17 kills and nine deaths in the game uh, a little bit of a rough performance from monster over there uh, you hate to see that but monster's a veteran he's been in these spots before he knows how to get back and get to where he needs to be and help support his young team uh honestly i i thought we were gonna see maybe a complexity stomping after game one but some resilience uh from space station that you just love to see we're starting to see a little bit of the strengths and weaknesses of each of these squads though the last time these two played up in aquarius slayer uh young col lost 50 to 45. so we're mm. seeing that history does repeat itself and you know onto this next one we got oddball streets what team is stronger on this map is the question here and uh i think it's all about like you said you know you know making sure that you're, you're being an impact on the map but also making sure that you keep the power weapons out of collect's hands i mean streets has a lot to worry about garrett there's a ton of things on the map that you got to control a ton 
the control as streets has so many goodies and they've completely changed the way that you're able to play on this game and i'm going to say that this is the swing game of the series uh, if you win this streets you're in a great position to win this match and uh, punch your ticket into cool play in a couple weeks for the North American Super, $125,000 up for grabs, and you definitely don't want to have to play through that open bracket. Yeah, that's a lot of money on the line, and uh, for an online event, that's absolutely insane. I don't know if we've ever seen anything like that for an online event, um, but it is great to see, and like you said, it's a lot of pressure off the back. If you can come in here and secure one of those spots, only four available, that's, that's a very low number. Of course, next week, we're doing another... Uh, uh, another super open tournament and four teams will also qualify four pool spots will be given out then as well as four uh championship bracket elimination elimination bracket spots uh so a lot to fight for here a lot of stress uh, off the back like i said and uh, ssg definitely want to close this out streets oddball is going to be a tough one though uh, if you're young complexity because i i just feel like ssg is way better from what i've seen so far at controlling those power-ups and those power weapons i just want to get into this game you know start please come on guys get in here i want to i want to see some of these rockets come through ask me shall receive hopefully yeah you know we're getting the cinematic maybe that means we're in let's see where we're at but uh ssg looking to keep their momentum a beautiful job the last time around and the Slayer now have to get it done on the objective. And they're two and two on this map thus far uh, in the open series. And uh, uh, honestly, uh, not a great stat for them. You know, you'd expect yeah. uh, you'd expect them to be a little bit more comfortable on this map. This map's tough. You've got the you've got like like we talked about. You've got all the goodies, right? You got the rockets, the Sentinel beam stalker there's these power positions on c balk and top a as well there's so many factors and we'll have to see if uh, the ball rotations come out or if they decide to be you know to, to statically hold it i mean i think all these players are capable of popping off in this game collect had his game last game as well as suppressed so it just comes down to who who brought their a game and like you said the mental definitely definitely tough for that squad so they can just kind of put that aside I think they can they can definitely close this one out as three go down for young complexity and it's very important for space station really to change the tides of history last time these two teams played against each other uh they played on this map and it was 290 to 227 that complexity won space station need to find this win prove to themselves that yes we think we're the better team and now we know we're the better team so far i mean they have to stop this young man right here vetra he has been an absolute pain for this team to deal with and the way that he's moving though how aggressive he's being how free he's being on the map is really uh telling how vetra feels about this matchup that's a great play ball by Talonol though puts the ball in the bottom center of the map uh, a spawns on bottom c along with i believe collect and they're able to kind of slay out unfortunately monster does have the bulldog arguably the strongest weapon on this map i mean rockets are obviously very strong but this bulldog with so much ammo can really just take over a game is that the monster i mean there's so many players in front of him and he's just in the middle and really truly behind enemy lines as he's trying to put in the damage but not able to get away with his life as he's eventually taken down the damage is in but that ball in a precarious situation for both these teams and you see ace was thinking about it but he had to back on down and i think this is going to provide opportunity for complexity because cycle is just pushing forward with this sentinel beam er combination and it's just laying down the hurt as no one from space station can deal with it and well rockets are up but it's just split, look at that split spot ace got into bottom c and that's going to prevent complexity from easily getting these rockets as monster throws them up the tires are you kidding me <laughs> yo that's so heads up I love that play by Monster simply because if he dies, the Rockets are in top tires and the other team's not going to expect it. They're going to look down, try to find those Rockets, and he'll have perfect information for his team. That's honestly the first time I've ever seen that and definitely a 200 IQ play there from Monster. He stays alive all this time as well. Ends up using both Rockets and now has a Sentinel Beam in hand. 
SSG had a lead for a little while here, but it looks like Young Complexity are starting to heat up in the Slay department as another kill comes out for Monster. He's on a killing spree, and that's definitely a good feeling against a team like SSG. Yeah, Monster has just been able to live in this situation, and it's making such a big difference. Just always ready to get into this fight. And what's been impressive, he's been able to live and find these kills, but oftentimes it feels like he's the first player in. And that's what's so just so impressive to be able to be aggressive in those fights and find those picks and not come at the cost of your life. You expect your entry point players to have a high death count. That's what we expect to see from a player like collect most of the time. Uh, but when you're able to be that entry point fragger, find the kills and still stay alive, that's when your team can really start to run away with the game. That's unfortunately one of the things I think that Collect, you know, can, gr it can grow when it comes to him as a player is right there when he pushes aggressively towards those C stairs, understands he's in a bad position, takes a lot of damage and has to go back. That's five seconds he's out of the play. And because of that, he ends up going down there isolated once again. And now Monster has the Bulldog in hand. And this is going to be devastating for SSG. But Ace comes in with a melee and takes him out instantly. Yeah, and he gets rewarded for his efforts, right? He gets a thrust in the back pocket. Uh a bulldog to work with as well and well ball on their side of the map as ace is doing his best to put down the damage but complexity oh my god the rock will just that might be one of the bigger kills of the game he keeps the rockets out of the hands of space station and gets the damage in and now it's up to monster to hit the crazy rocket but suppress stays alive Beautiful job by Suppress there with that Stalker. He's got to rotate the ball over. He's got all of SSG on this B side, but they've got to get that kill on the B stairs. I believe it's Cycle back there. And he's being a nuisance. It's so neurotical. Wow, three dead for SSG. Vetra does have the Stalker rifle in hand now, and that spawn going to come out on the purple. They've got to look out for those spawns. Love this from Vetra, right? They, he sees the three, four down, uses that time to get the ball as far away from the spawners as possible, gets the power weapon, grabs the thrust. Now he can be this just dominating presence on the map. You do not want to go against a Vetra with a stalker thrust combination. You know what kind of damage he can do. It'd be three dead if they kill Ace here. Cycles rotating the ball back now. Some great awareness out of him. They're going to milk some more seconds. And I'm, I'm honestly seeing a lot of milking happening from Young Complexity here. They're able to get that time that is not necessarily in their favor, but they're rotating the ball so well, and it's given them this 71 to 23 lead. I don't know, so important right here. And I, ooh, Tylenol getting a little aggressive right there, able to back Monster down, and that's going to allow him to get towards ball access. And all the... <laughs> Monster still finds, val finds value. Monster, I mean... It was really important for him to come back in this game and play comfortable, play smart, play aggressive. Uh, he's 15 and 8 thus far. I mean, coming off a game where he finished like 4 and 13. Uh, right. Very impressive to see that bounce back from him. And we're seeing the opposite out of collect, right? 5 and 12 to start this game, not having the best game possible. And he's, you know, the player that you'd expect, like you said before, to slay out here. So we're looking for Collect to kind of step it up. Monster does have the Rockets once again. He's not able to toss them up this time. He's going to go down, and that's going to award Suppress, who sees Vetra in the back. The communication is going to come out, and here comes the rotation. That was a really, uh, I'd say that's the first big blunder we've seen for Monster right there. It was really important for Complexity to play for those picks and to get that Rocket away. Instead, he gets a little too ahead of himself, thinks that he can get away with it once again. Uh, Space Station clean up their mistakes from earlier in this game they stop the rockets from going over to complexity and now suddenly a massive chunk of time heading space stations way and well they're within 30 points of tying this one up but they have great positioning on the map thus far great opportunity for space station to get right back into this game hey suit a little bit of milking himself here i like the clean up kill the dropping the ball it's kind of difficult to do in halo infinite a little bit of jitter there, but he makes it happen. Gets the double. Trying to go for Monster as well. I like the back off here. Monster's still alive, but Suppress is there to help clean him up. Suppress gets two, and that's going to be a double and some more time on the board for SSG. You can count another 15 seconds if this push wasn't coming from Street Garrett, but it is. Yeah, an unfortunate red spawn for Complexity, but I mean, Ace has just been so impressive on this life. Still alive, he's been the main uh, primary uh, ball holder for his team, but he's quick to drop and get engaged in the fights. He knows how important it is to keep numbers for the squad, and because of that, he's been able to keep Space Station at bay for now, 
I mean, he's been able to keep complexity at bay for now, but he finally goes down and we see the ball rotate hands. Monster has to, uh, has to rotate out. And because of the early game, Space Station, I don't think we'll be able to keep up as nades come through, they won't connect. And it will be going over to complexity and it just shows you that every stage of the game is important in oddball right you have to start off strong you can have a beautiful uh end game where you're doing everything that you need to do to stay alive in the game but when you give yourself up a, a 60 70 point lead to the other team all they have to do is find one break and suddenly you can find yourself game over uh without any opportunity for recourse we go down for SSG already. Town on the last player alive makes work of that stalker rifle and now has the thrust. Gonna utilize it to dodge a rocket. Ends up going down anyway, but Monster still got one rocket to work with. He misses it completely and suppressed with a beautiful shot. Gonna take him out. But they're on the run. Young Complexity trying to rotate this ball towards the spawns on PD. Yeah, that's a chance pocket monster right there. That's a, that's a tough one to look at. That rocket had nowhere to go and We'll have to see how much of an advantage Space Station can take. They finally find the break. Tylenol gets the ball away, and they found the power weapons to work with. Suppress going to be a very important player in the equation. He immediately goes down, and this is going to allow Complexity to get control of the power weapons once again and to keep Space Station's break to just one point. Nothing coming from that mishap that Monster had. 23 to 1. Young Complexity up one round if you're just joining us. In winner's bracket round number six. And honestly, in this second round, until that last wipe from uh, SSG, Young Complexity has been outslaying them incredibly. Ace is going to try and take control of tires here. I don't know if he knows Vetra's on the bottom here. He does. The awareness. Wait a minute. He's got to turn around, and he gets the kill anyway. Awarded with the thrust as well. But there's Monster for the trade. You tell, I mean, these young players who are these 18, 17, 16 year olds, man, they feel a little bit of pressure. They have that response time that just makes you so jealous. The second he got shot, he was able to ascertain where Ace was, what the play was to make, and stayed alive for just a bit longer. A frustrating thing to deal with, but that's why you pick up these young, talented players, man. They just can do things that are unnatural after you reach a certain age. Can't wait to see where the young talent goes. Cycle definitely a player to watch out for, especially. They rotate the ball over to Tram, but the push is coming through. Tylenol's a little bit isolated here on the cycle. Because of that, he's going to go down. And they're going to have to wait a little bit for him, but they do get numbers momentarily. And now it's a 2v2 suppressed. Grabbing that ball really early instead of slaying with Ace, that might cost him. I love this from Cycle, able to stay alive. He's going to push back for now and give a home base for Complexity to work out of. And what he's doing is essentially acting as his back player, letting his teammates push forward as he tries to find the damage. But some well-placed nades from Space Station will cut the cut this run short. And now it's Neuronical who finds himself isolated in Space Station. Get the break. All four dead. Two just spawned up. They're gonna be on the C side of, sorry, purple side, C stairs. Hopefully Collect can rotate this ball over because Monster is on a tear right now. He gets one, Cycle's there to clean up the other. Two dead momentarily for SSG in that ball. Not much time being added to the clock there, Garrett. Unfortunately for SSG, they got four dead. They just weren't able to, to have objective efficiency there. This is tough. Ace has the shotgun to work with ball all the way away from complexity. Complexity has to figure out how they want to approach this break. And so far, they've seen a little bit disjointed in their push and suppress has taken immediate advantage. He finds two. Vetra is not able to get away. A beautiful hold. The first time I feel like we've seen Space Station really take command of yeah. the game in the in the series thus far. 100% agree. I was going to say that's the first time we've seen like a structured, a little bit of a structured setup here and uh, Young Complexity stuck at sea, not really being able to move. And this is uh, this is uh, Young Complexity's game to lose, right? They're up one round right now. If they continue to make these isolated mistakes, it's going to be a tie round, but Cycle with a beautiful kill there. Ironical and Vetra there to support three dead for SSG. Collect the last player alive and Cycle has the rockets to work with.
And that's so that was a really important life for complexity right there you see not only are you stopping space station from getting time but you're able to change the momentum a little bit if that would have been another uh, another four down for space station suddenly they look to be in a prime position to end this game instead complexity make it a little bit more dicey you're gonna have to slay us one more time but space station obviously not having any problems they're able to find the immediate kill on rockets trying to get back into this fight making it a little bit mixy once again but it looks like complexity could come out on top and I've talked about the power up and control on this map. I mean, you talk about streets, you've got to talk about everything involved with streets. And honestly, Young Complexity doing a much better job of controlling these power weapons. It's, it's one of the reasons Monsters 28 and 22, it's one of the reasons that they're out slaying SSG fully here. And it's another reason why they're going to push the advantage and potentially break this and get some more ball time now. Adventure right back onto this ball. We see just an incredible amount of engagements from both of these teams uh, thus far. I mean, everyone's having their share of gunfights. I don't think anyone's really letting their team down at the moment as everyone's just been doing their best. And so far, it's been just, this has been just such a back and forth fight between the two teams in round two. Yeah, and I apologize. Looking at the, the two score of uh, the two sides here, definitely looks a lot more even in slays. So I retract my last statement on that. It's really up to just kind of focusing on Monster here. Just having an incredible, incredible game, starting off with that first round, making sure he controls those rockets. And now again, 30 kills and only 22 deaths. And they've got a little bit of a hole, but a play ball has to come through because of the pressure of SSG. Oh Whoa. my goodness, what the heck? Monster gets the kill with the flick zoomed in. My word. Yeah, like he's on mouse and keyboard for a second right there with that sort of flick i mean get him into the the cs go scene or something right there that was a nasty little performance from him but unfortunately it's it's not enough to keep space station off this ball monster has to come back in and his ace with the shoddy it's not enough monster gets the kill and the ball once again and now a lead that can grow for complexity got to point out a stat here that i just got from the producers when ace goes positive in the open series ssg wins oddball a hundred percent of the time and as you can see pay close attention here he's positive two kills at the moment and right now they're 13 seconds away from losing this one monster had a massive kill right there that prevents space station from getting any presence at the back of C, and now it's just five seconds away for them to take this game. Is anyone from Space Station there? It's Kamasu who's trying to keep him back, and he will be successful as Space Station go four down and down to one in the series. Wow. We've got a best of five here, of course, guys. So next up, we've got everyone's favorite, Bazaar CTF. We'll see if this goes past three caps. We'll have to find out, but SSG's got to win this one or they're going to end up going to the lower bracket and Young Complexity will grant themselves a pool spot in the Super again. We've got to talk about that prize pool. $125,000 on the line. Incredible. It has to be just a huge relief for Complexity right here, having a 2-1 lead going into Bizarre Flag. They can really just play their game. Don't have to worry about doing anything more, doing anything special. Just play a clean game at Halo, and you're going to find yourself in pool play in a couple weeks. Here we go. Game number four. Bizarre CTF. Young Complexity up 2-1 to one in the series. Their chance to close it out right now and send SSG down to the loser's bracket. You've got to see some players pop off here. And right away, I'm going to focus on Collect. I'm going to focus on Collect because he's the man to do it. Yeah, he's Collect. the man to get those slays. Collect has to be the one that sets up for the team right here. Really just come in, be a force of nature. Don't let Complexity have any spacing on the map. Get into their face and really get the kills to dominate this game. So far, I mean, Space Station come out with the first pick. They're going to be able to get towards this overshield first. And ooh, back of that collect getting down the damage. He's able to get one, but Vetra with the quick trade out. Two down for Young Complexity. Tylenol with the rock. What? That one's going to whip right through the <laughs> yeah. line. Oh, my word. That's going to be a bit of a blunder here, but still was momentarily three down for Young Complexity. They're all spawning on the alley and unfortunately suppressed a little overextended. They're going to go down. 
always sad when you see a rock and just take the perfect line. It's like, yeah, let me avoid everything to get away. That's a, that's a tough one to, to hold right there. It's, the rocket won't be able to find that kill. And that's the other gun that really is uh, going to need to be taken care of this game. It's the shotgun. I, I think uh, a lot of people put an emphasis on the rockets and how much of an impact it can have. But if you can get that shotgun into some of these closer range fights on this map, especially in that BR area uh, towards bar, you can absolutely start to take control, make, a, make it your home on the map and just allow your team to push forward. We've seen a really big evolution here on Bizarre. We saw in the beginning of the game, a lot of players kind of taking control of those lockers, but according to Lucid of Optic, it's definitely better to control that alleyway and make sure you have those spike grenades, it's how much damage they do. And then obviously bottom center with those shocks, but first flag does come out. It's up to collect, but he's going to be overwhelmed. Ace does get a trade there. There's a couple people weak. That great nade, but is he able to stay alive is the question. His life is important here. And the most important thing when running flags on this map is, is patience, right? You, you don't necessarily have to get right on these flags. Make sure that they're getting in uh, with max efficiency, right? It's more about making sure your life is valued, that you're not giving anything up for free, and that you slowly but surely move this flag across the map. You're going to have to slay three, four times on a single flag grab to get it through. But you can see Neuronical valued his life, pushes back out, gets the massive kill, and he's going in for more as he finds the assist on the next. And what Neuronical did right there, playing his life, is going to lead to the first flag cap for complexity. You can just be such a nuisance by just staying alive on weird angles and allowing your team to, to be able to support you. Neuronical on the tree here gonna play some defense get his shields back and push out of double doors with those rockets coming up in 20 seconds a lot of ssg players on the lower end though and collect's gonna get that kill it's gonna be a 2v2 now <laughs> cycle is like i got him and then uh we'll find all you needs quickly yawn as we see uh things start to even out for both these teams Ooh, space station this is a big opportunity i love how fast ace is being right there yes he's gonna get into that back base even if he does die which he doesn't he gets another kill what it's gonna do is he's gonna pull players back and it's gonna allow his rocket player to have better opportunities to find important picks on this flag grab beautiful job by ace his job now done as he sees the respawn screen but he's giving this game to suppressed if he can find the spot with this rocket and really find the pivotal kills his team can't cap this flag what do you do there though garrett i mean unfortunately they were not blocking that locker spawn and all of young complexity came through and just wiped them off the face of the planet i mean do you do you double back and block that locker spawn in that situation it's tough um it, it's it's timing right it, that's what it really came down to and i i think yeah like you could go block the locker spawn but i think what was more important is just to have that timer to know when the spawns were exactly coming up and positioning yourself in a way where they just can't take advantage oh my god collect holy neuronical like if this was matchmaking you'd be getting uninstall messages you know what i'm saying collect just did one of the nastiest things i've ever seen in sanctioned competition that is one of the most difficult strafes to hit especially me on mouse and keyboard i mean when they do that little circle crowd strafe it just becomes impossible and you're just, you're just running circles around them as you saw from collect he pushes in aggressively here talent and suppress gonna clean both those kills up and talent all gonna be awarded the Thruster and Suppress going to move in for the flag. Spawns coming out on the alley side. They've got to prevent these spawns from pushing through the middle of the map. Have you ever seen a 1v1 that's just went completely one way earn a flag grab for a team? Because that's what we're seeing from Collect's kill right here. I mean, this has opened up so much opportunity for Space Station. Unfortunately, Vetra, the last player alive, is able to get the return. And Space Station, just a little bit too passive on their play right there won't be able to capture that flag but it just shows you how important a 1v1 fight can be when you win something you're not supposed to it opens up so much opportunity for your team and that's what makes those great players great and that's why there's so much emphasis on the top players in the game the renegade the frosties the lucids of the world is because those low percentage kills are gained by them that you're trying to stay alive inside of the tree here it's one to zero. SSG's got to make a play. They had a chance. They pulled, I believe, two flags so far. And nothing converted. Yeah, this is their third one to try. We're seeing the spawn in bottom rockets from Complexi. Monster somehow takes care of Suppress, and he's still alive on the map. And 
that's what's been making all these big differences is complexity trying to stay alive in these games but i think this should be a no ace went down from the grenade kill it's oh, up no. to collect he needs to go oh. big vetra wins the fight and the spawners the space station could get there in time suppress has the run but you know complexity's knocking on the door and putting down some damage that was a great play by suppress there to back off though he had no shields he could have stayed and challenged and tried to pull the flag a little more he stays alive but is it enough as talano gets that double kill he's trying to secure this but neurotical is there all four dead for ssg that's gonna be a return and a potential counter cap situation it all comes down to vetra staying alive and getting the important kill on collect earlier it all tracks back to the fight in the mid in the mid map and that fight won by veteran and it eventually comes back to fruition as they are able to get the return and now a counter cap quickly on its way as suppressed his last alive in the mid map he needs to do his best he's able to find two but cycle well aware of the position he just watches the overextends neuronical somehow went down and suddenly we're maybe seeing a little bit of deja vu as complexity now trying desperately to get this flag back home suppressed you got to take him out he's the he's the answer here the trade Will it be enough? They could get some spawns on the thruster side. Vetra does stay alive, but collecting Talonol gonna be pressuring Cycle as a 2v1. This Vetra kill is huge! He gets two, gonna get the third! Ace is there to clean him up. Another clutch 1v1 to turn the tides. Oh, oh but wait. Monster got there in time! He's He had the timing because of Vetra's play of getting the double kill and keeping Space Station at bay. It was all up to Ace, but he just cannot deal with the pressure that Complexity was able to bring back and Vetra knows what the writing is on the wall. A 2-0 lead can be a death sentence on Bizarre Flag. Oh, I, I really wish I could hear the comms right now. I know SSG and I know there's a lot of frustration in those comms and I think that's one of their weaknesses, in my opinion, as a squad, along with the stuff that's going on behind the scenes. But regardless, they've got to toss it all away because it looks like at the moment they're crumbling to go down. And another pull, flagpole potential here for Young Complexity. It's Vetra who's been making so many impact plays for the team, and he's going to be the one leading the charge with this flag. Oh my god. Oh my god. That's, oh, that's, you know, we saw Collect do it earlier, and now it's Vetra's turn. Uh, he had a thrust in the back pocket. He didn't even use it. And once again, it's about staying alive in these fights, right? He wins the big fight, stays alive, and it's going to allow spacing for the team. And now suddenly, this game getting further and further out of reach for Space Station. We've got three minutes and 30 odd seconds to work with here. They're down 3-0. Is SSG capable of making the comeback? Halo 4 Global Champion Ace is the veteran of the squad. Can he pull his team together along with Elamite here to bring back this game? Well, grapple is going to be an important part of this equation, but I mean, you can't, you can't cheat kills. And that, that's where complexity have found the most success i mean when you look at the kill call uh, they're just dominating the game thus far uh, they're they're plus five plus six on the kills uh they've gotten the important ones you have to start to slow these Ooh. guys down somehow and it's gonna start with getting kills on the map something that space station's in desperate need of and something that's in short supply as complexity has just consistently been able to find trade outs at minimum in this game an incredible amount of assists for Young Complexity here. Being involved in so many engagements. And again, got to talk about those 1v1s out of Vetra, especially. Making sure to delay the game in time for that one cap. Winning those 1v1s is so vital. Four go down, though, for Young Complexity right now. A chance for SSG to get some pressure on the map, potentially. But two already spawned, and they're a little bit too late to the punch. coming down i mean it's just space station just can't quite get things to be clean right everything's being a little bit murky every time complexity is playing defense they're able to find the the important trade out and it's just made made this so frustrating for ace and the crew they just have not been able to get into the base have the clean pull have the clean return every single time it seems like complexity is able to get right into their face find an opportunity to get a trade out and pre prevent space station from being comfortable and getting something home They're running out of time a minute and 30 seconds remaining that's the kill they needed now they've got to push off that kill but it's ace with no shields and neuronical being such a nuisance 
he gonna go down here oh my word he kills suppressed as well and Talonel goes down the triple from the Ronicle. and I'm gonna tell you right now it's looking like that's all she wrote unless miracles happen here I don't think SSG can recover from this one and Oracle knows it he's just holding ground yeah, and all, all that really needs to happen is Complexity just needs to stay alive in the mid-map. Yeah, they can give up their home base as long as they're alive in the mid-map to make things a little bit uh, mixy. That's all that matters, and you can see coming. Uh, they're just coming back. There, there's just no need for Space Station. There's no time for them to get back into this game, and you really have to be kicking yourself on those two flag grabs that didn't go in. The first one, when Collect absolutely turned on Monster and, and won a pivotal fight. The second one, when it was the goal line stand, for complexity where they come back and win with Vetra staying alive in that mid map. If those two flag caps were in, then you know, maybe we'd have an opportunity to see a, a tying flag in the last minute. But instead, it's a 3-0 victory for complexity. And it's just more the way we start. We started with a 4-0 victory on flag uh, on King of the Hill. And now we're seeing the 3-0 victory on flag. So many opportunities. Those high pressure situations. There's a lot on the line here. Full play for a $125,000 tournament is no joke. Securing that spot is so huge, and it looks like Young Complexity have done just that. Young Complexity will be qualified for one of the pool spots at the HCS Super.